If you think of the United States infrastructure, it's roads, it's pavements, but these signature bridges take so much money. So we're looking to really change that design paradigm that a bridge structure can do more than get you across the river, maybe create its own energy or convert its own energy to electrical energy, but also be a source of learning, which is why we have students from kindergarten to postdocs that are learning from this bridge. So there's one right here. We have three types of sensors on this bridge. We have strain gauges that measure how much the steel is stretching. Running along the top of the bridge are those small white boxes, and those are accelerometers, and that is measuring the vibration of the bridge. And then we also have rotational sensors at the base of the tower and at the top of the tower, so we're really looking at, during high winds, how much is that tower moving? We're good. This actually will be the first bridge that will have a renewable energy installation beyond solar panels that's an active installation as part of the structure. One of the goals of the Living Bridge project is to demonstrate emerging technologies and how they can be used to support infrastructure. What we've done at the Memorial Bridge is we've installed a tidal turbine. About a year ago, we built the turbine deployment platform. They shipped the turbine from Calgary to New Hampshire. We had to offload it at the pier and then we had to lower the turbine down onto the platform using a crane off the pier. And then the whole platform was towed from the UNH pier to the bridge. The nice thing about tidal energy is that it's predictable. We can, we can predict the tides literally centuries uh, into the future. And we now have a demonstrator in the water that will tell us conclusively how much energy can be generated and whether this project can be expanded at local or other estuarine bridges in the U.S. The idea is that you should always think about all of these things when you program your next bridge, making it sustainable and also making sure you're learning from your bridge, not just for the next bridge, but for the next generation of engineers.